Kellen, have you had a chance to, I mean, you talked about watching a little bit of the Vikings offense, but what has the last two weeks been like for you? Is that, are you watching a lot of Kirk Cousins? Is that something that you've done in your spare time? How have you spent the pre mini camp rookie mini camp process? Have you, have you been indulging in watching a lot of film or is it kind of just like get to Minnesota and I'll take care of it when I get there? Yeah. I mean, um, you know, pretty, pretty quick after I got drafted, I got my iPad and so I've already, I've already watched all the 2020 games and, you know, really watched them multiple times. And just um, some plays are a little bit more advanced that, you know, I necessarily haven't gotten to. Um, you know, we're still on, you know, pretty, pretty, a lot of the base stuff on um, install. Um, but it's still a lot of information. So still being able to watch Kirk on um, certain cut-ups um, and certain, certain things that I, I really enjoy and um, just really enjoy uh, just watching his execution, watching his footwork, and just watch how he, he's able to, um, you know, just go through reads and pretty much master the offense. So, um, you know, the more I watch him, the more I'm able to kind of mimic, you know, his footwork, um, his cadence, which is uh, huge in the NFL. Um, so, I mean, there's there's so much uh, so many things that I need to learn. And um, but, uh, you know, I feel like I'm in a phenomenal organization um, with uh, phenomenal talent. And, um, you know, obviously can't wait to get to work with Kirk also. Yeah. yeah speaking speaking of that, have you gotten a chance to talk to Kirk yet? Um, he, he contacted me uh, after I got drafted and uh, we talked, um, you know, he I don't know if he's out here. Yeah, I haven't seen him out here, but, um, you know, coming coming up next week, I'm, I'm assuming he'll be out here. So. Uh, you know, I've obviously watched all his film, like I've said, but, um, you know, I think it would be um, also really good just to be able to see him in person, um, just be able to communicate and just, you know, him almost just being a, a, a mentor, essentially, and just being able to learn from him. So, um, you know, that, that's pretty much my main focus. You know, I'm focused on football out here. You know, there's there's no schoolwork, no nothing. So I'm just 100 uh, percent dived in and uh, in the playbook and um, in mastering the playbook. Courtney. Christian just told us a couple of minutes ago that he's heard from a couple of vets. I think Brian O'Neill, Brian O'Neill gave him advice on where to get a barber. Have you received anything like that on, <laughs> you know, just life, life and trying to acclimate to Minnesota, like where to, where to get snacks, where to get your hair cut, things like that. Uh, yeah. I mean, I, I kind of know some people um, out here, you know, a couple of friends. Uh, so I've kind of asked, you know, good food spots and, you know, I'm a, I'm a huge seafood guy. And so I've heard the seafood is really good up here. So, um, so that I've asked that, um, you know, about the barbershop, I, I've, I've looked at certain guys, so still trying to find a barber. So I got a haircut before I left. Um, but you know, I'm, I'm gonna need one, um, you know, since I'm gonna be out here for, for the rest of my career. So, uh, so I'm definitely gonna need a barber. <laughs> Matthew. Um, what, what you mentioned about playing under center, how, how different is that for you? And, and also, I'm sure when you watched the tape back, you saw how efficient Kirk is at, uh, when he, he's got the rollouts and throwing from rolling to his left or his right. Like, how much of an adjustment is that and sort of what's the key to mastering that? Uh, I mean, the key to, uh, to mastering is just reps. Um, it's just experience. Experience is the best teacher. So um, the same way you're able to, um, you know, do certain things through experience uh, throughout college is uh, the same way in the NFL. And um, obviously Kirk has played um, under center for a long time, been in different systems. Um, so it's really just all about, you know, foot placement, you know, foot speed, just being efficient with your feet, um, just all about angles on, on play action. And um, so that's something that I, just, I continue to watch on film, just watching how he's able to, uh, you know, master certain angles and, you know, making his play actions look the same as the runs. Um, so obviously he's done a, a tremendous job. And so those are just certain things I, I like to watch and like to learn so that I can kind of mimic that and, you know, still be effective on the field. Courtney. All right, we'll go to Chris. Yeah, hey, Kellen, you mentioned that uh, Kirk Cousins reached out to you. What, do you. what was the gist of what you guys talk about? Uh, I mean, he was just congratulating me and uh, telling me he couldn't wait to work with me. And, you know, I said the same. Um, I mean, you know, just even whenever I got drafted, I knew what type of opportunity it was for me to just um, be able to learn from a veteran, a guy who's been in, you know, multiple systems, who's played under center, um, you know, playing in a, in a great offense and just being able to learn how he's able to lead when he gets out here with, you know, you know, uh, JJ, Adam Thielen, you know, Dalvin Cook. Uh, so just watching how he's able to communicate and just really learn, uh, you know, I'm said earlier just, um, just him being kind of a, a mentor and just being able to watch him um, you know that's what that's what I'm excited for 
We'll go to Matthew and then one more after him. Uh, just a little follow-up on, on you watching back the tape from last year. Was there something in particular that you saw from him where you said, okay, I, I want to be able to do that as a quarterback since he's so experienced and, and he's become a franchise quarterback. Is there something that stuck out to you or impressed you um, sort of specifically when watching his tape? Uh, you know, I think just the number one thing is just his efficiency. And, you know, obviously that takes, um, you know, a, a bunch of work and, you know, that takes, you knowing your actual reads, um, you know, mastering your footwork and um, just understanding your offense, um, you know, wholeheartedly. And so that's that's definitely the one thing that I came away with. You know, I can definitely tell he understands the offense and, um, you know, understands situational football. So, you know, like I said multiple times, just being able to come out here, um, learn from him. Um, you know, that was a, a, one of the biggest reasons I was so excited to come out, come out here.